Nicole Kane says she was confident her 39-year-old husband Michael would recover after his COVID-19 diagnosis. Now, nearly two months after his death, she still doesn't understand how this happened to someone so young and healthy. As LAX 18's Catherine Collins reports, she's urging people to follow guidelines so others don't have to experience the pain she feels now. It's the LAX 18 Big Story at 11. Didn't take long. We, we knew right away that we were pretty much meant for each other. Reflecting on their love story. Everything we did was together all the time, every day. Nicole Keene says now when she looks at these family photos. Oh, it just makes me miss him so much. Michael Keene was an Army veteran, a strong and healthy 39-year-old. Nicole was about eight months pregnant when her husband was diagnosed with COVID-19 in October. She says everyone thought he'd recover. There was no reason for us to not think that. But after three weeks in the hospital and just two days after Nicole gave birth to their son prematurely, she learned of Michael's death. It's, it's hard to have someone pass away like that, just totally out of the blue and, and you don't really get to say goodbye and you didn't really know it was coming. Yeah, I'm still in a shock and I feel like he's just still gonna come home. She says she doesn't know how or where her husband caught COVID-19, but she's urging others to do what it takes to stop this virus in its tracks. It's a small thing to ask. Keep your hands clean, wear your mask, and stay six feet. And I would hate for anyone else to go through anything like this. And you just don't know. Now home from the hospital, Nicole says she's busy taking care of her daughter and newborn son. I think just as long as they're good and I'm good and we're happy and... That would be what he would want. They're so young now, but she says she hopes her children are just like their dad. In Lexington, Katherine Collins, LEX 18 News. Wow. Nicole says she's also thankful for the outpouring of support she's received from the community. A GoFundMe page has raised nearly $100,000 for the family. If you'd like to donate, we have a link on our website, lex18.com.